Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Today we're going to make a chocolate cream scone, or maybe you pronounce it scone. These are really nice eaten just on their own, or sometimes I like to uh, use them to make either a strawberry or even a raspberry shortcake. So to start, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 190 degrees Celsius, and you will need a uh, large baking sheet, and I've just lined it with a piece of parchment paper, but you could just lightly butter it or spray it with one of those non-stick sprays. And then scones are a quick bread, and so I'm just going to make it by hand in a large bowl. So I have uh, one and three quarter cups, which is 245 uh, grams of uh, all-purpose flour. You may know that as plain flour. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of uh, 25 grams of Dutch processed cocoa powder. And that's where we're getting the chocolate flavor. And I'm going to uh, sift that because um, cocoa powder tends to have lumps. And really all I've done is take, taken a, a cream scone recipe and replaced some of the flour with cocoa powder. It's pretty simple to do. So I mean if you wanted a deeper flavor you could um, just reduce the flour a little more and, and replace it with cocoa powder. And then I'm adding uh, a half a cup, 100 grams of granulated white sugar and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and just a quarter teaspoon of salt. I like to use a kosher salt. And then I'm just going to uh, whisk that together. Now, if you don't want to do this all by hand, you could do part of it in the food processor. Like you could put all your dry ingredients together and process that. And then the next step is we're going to add a third of a cup that's 75 grams of butter. And you could also do this part in your food processor. Just make sure you don't over uh, process it. So this is, uh, like I said, a third of a cup and it's cold. Make sure your butter is really cold. And I like to cut it into little small cubes because it blends in easier into your flour. Sometimes what I do is I take the butter out of the fridge, cut it into cubes, and then put it in the freezer for 15, 20 minutes. And then that gets it really cold. So like I said, you could do this part too in your food processor, but just use the pulse. And what you're looking for is coarse crumbs, like the butter's into little tiny pieces. So I'm using the pastry blender. To, I like this tool. Or you could just use two knives and kind of cut it in. Or you could even use your fingertips. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. And the crumbs. It, don't worry if there's a few large pieces of butter in there. That's okay. Now, if you did this in the food processor, now transfer um, the mixture to a large bowl because we're going to add the uh, wet ingredients and you don't want to overmix. Because if you overmix, you get a tough scone, which is not what you want. So it's better to do this by hand. So, um, what I have here is two thirds of a cup, which is uh, 160 milliliters of, well, you can use either heavy cream, you can use light cream, half and half, even milk. Which the, the fat content of your milk, the richer, like a higher the fat content, if you use a heavy cream, be a richer tasting scone than if say you use milk. So it's up to you what you want to use there. And I have a, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract Try to use a pure because it has better flavor than the artificial. And I also have one large egg, and I'm just going to lightly whisk that. Now this, again, makes a richer tasting um, scone. If you didn't want to add an egg, you don't have to. You could just up your, um, your cream to like three quarters of a cup, maybe even a cup, depending on how much um, liquid the flour will absorb. So it's really up to you. So I'm just going to put that in there. Mix that together. As you can see, scones are really versatile. There's so much you can do. 
with them. Now, I'm going to add all together two thirds of a cup of uh, 160 milliliters of chocolate chips. I'm using a combination of dark and white. I mean, there's so many different ones. You can use uh, milk chocolate chips, semi-sweet, dark, the bittersweet. Um, and if I was going to make a, use um, the scone to make a strawberry shortcake or a raspberry shortcake, I would leave out the chocolate chips. I mean, you don't have to, but I think it'd be better without. And if you don't want to, you could, you could uh, maybe add some uh, dried cherries or cranberries, nuts. Okay, and then we're just going to pour in our wet ingredients. And then I'm just going to use my rubber spatula here. I just want to stir it together to a, a dough forms. And have a little um, extra cream on hand because you never know how much um, liquid the flour will absorb. So I'm gonna get my hands in here. So, cut that off and just put some flour down on your surface. My hand's all dirty there. And then, I'm just going to knead it a little. A nice smooth dough. Okay, and then put it into about a seven inch, it's about an 18 centimeter round. I'm just gonna eyeball this. You could get your ruler out, wipe my hands off here. Sticky dough. And then we're gonna cut it into wedges. Now, if you wanted to, you could just use a cookie cutter, a heart shaped round square and cut them out, but I'm just gonna make them in wedges. So I'm using, uh, you can use a sharp knife for one of these uh, scrapers, which are a handy little tool. And I'm going to put it into eight wedges. And as you can see, this is a handy little tool because it kind of goes underneath. And you can also clean your uh, counter up really easy with it. So, and then just space them on your... Uh, Baking sheet. I said this is a really handy tool because you can just scrape up. Makes quick work of that. Okay, so here we go. Now I like to brush the tops of the uh, scones with just a little cream or milk. Helps give them a nice uh, outside crust. If you want a richer, you can also uh, beat an egg and with a little uh, cream, but I think the milk is, is fine. Some people, you could even um, sprinkle a little sugar over the top if you like. Okay, so now into the oven. Somewhere between, I would say, 18, 20 minutes. It's, 
it's really hard to tell when a chocolate scone is done just by looking at it. So put a toothpick in the center of one and it should come out clean. Okay, our chocolate scones are now done. As you can see, they're kind of firm to the touch. Toothpick inserted into the center will come out clean. Uh, I would let them cool at least about 10 minutes before serving. Of course, scones are best eaten the day they are made, but you can cover and store them for a few days, or they can be frozen. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.